Ruby is licensed and produced by Rooster Teeth and created by Monty Ohm. Please support the official release. Hello there, YouTube Jack here with more Ruby Volume 6 Chapter 10 Stealing from the Elderly. Which is probably very accurate if we're gonna steal uh, an airplane from Atlas Base, which means we're stealing it from... I forgot her name, but you know, <laughs> the very awesome commander of the base. Also, I think the thumbnail was like, was it her walking with Weiss? I'm not sure if I saw this in, in the thumbnail on Rooster Teeth or in a thumbnail on some YouTube video, but either that, in either case, so I assume this means that they're gonna once again go with the plan of Weiss, using Weiss uh, as a means to sneak in, although a bit different this time. And <laughs> I'm just so excited to see how this goes. I mean, you're a group of seven people, a drunk, and an old woman. Well, no, actually eight. I, I forgot to ask her there. Uh, still, though, I mean, I get that you're all skilled, but still, this is the freaking Atlas military. You, you don't just steal an airplane from them. <laughs> but then again, the White Fang did it too, so who knows? <laughs> In either case, I'm really looking forward to this. If, if for nothing else, then for the fact that we're gonna get more of this Atlas space, because so far it's been hilarious. So yeah, well, that's gonna do this episode. In the three, in the two, in the one, go! Uh, I was relieved okay. to hear came to your senses, Mr. <laughs> Why did he walk? That wouldn't have happened to be uh, Neo, right? Just saying. It was time to get my act together and go back to my room. I can't wait to see you fall. I'm surprised they allowed Saffron in here. Absolutely. I'm sending two of my best guards to personally escort you. Make sure General Ironwood hears that part. <laughs> of course. So that's a big suitcase though. To assist you with your bath. Hop, hop, hop. Nonsense. Allow me to assist as well. Take care of it by myself. Just let them have the bag. <laughs> They're surprisingly uh nice. <laughs> Stop moving. <laughs> anyway though, I'm surprised the guards just jumped in there to help the child. <laughs> Really nice of them. And that's when Blake steps in. We're almost at the drop off. Okay, remember, once the radar box is separate from the rest of the communication, well, at least so you have them helping out, out which could have serious precaution, repercussions for them. Never yeah, that. Don't worry. This isn't the first time I've disabled Alice security. Never <laughs> 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 Intruders means we're more likely to be seen. Besides, stealth isn't exactly your. Um... I mean, you're great, and I'll hurry back. <laughs> well, for once, at least she has a serious point rather than just being worried about uh, Yang's handicap there. <laughs> Shouldn't say something like that just out of lap. Also, so far there wasn't really that much that could have gone wrong. Well, they could have screened the packet, uh, the, the suitcase. This is gonna work. But you know, Blake hasn't really started yet. And just like that, you're outside of range. <laughs> For your own safety, yes. This parachute won't excuse you of your treachery! <laughs> I feel generally sorry for them. <laughs> and you're sure you can fly this? Missy, I was the Grim Reaper. Fair enough. What part of best huntress of her generation don't you understand? Though, you know, the eyes, though. 
You can't you can't seriously plug this thing in. That's just cheating. <laughs> that you said your eyes were in desperate need of repair. <laughs> Well, if she can have, like, direct feedback of all these sensors, then yes, that is so ridiculously overpowered. And it really makes me wonder why not more military personnel just does that for funsies. Well, time for some setbacks, isn't it? Well, why is this back in range? Man, we've got something on radar. And who would be foolish enough to enter our airspace unannounced? Apparently, us, ma'am. Of course, us. Yeah. <laughs> also, I'm afraid that yes, Ironwood is gonna hear of this, just not the way you like it. You sure? Isn't it like? Argus face, this is Manta Five One. Feel free to gap off. Thought we were going to scrub due to FOD, but we're back up and green. Sounds oh. good. Manta Five One, return to base immediately, or you will be treated. <laughs> but yeah, they are a bit more serious now. Target was fine, but our pilots aren't elderly women. <laughs> I'm lightheaded now. Time to bust her out, I guess. Being in Blake first? Damn it. Cordo's gonna scramble her fighters. We've got maybe 90 seconds before they're in the air and all over Weiss and Maria. Well, then do something. My fault. Well, not all your fault, but. Your semblance? Every choice I've ever made has led to. Oh, that. Yeah. You along with me. Oz, myself, the others. We're responsible for the mess the world's in now. I shouldn't have come. Partially, maybe, yes, but. What was I thinking? You're way too self-destructive here. We're all in this together, and we're all going to do the best we can. That's all anyone can do. And I know it's what you've always aimed for. We would have come whether or not you'd let us, so stop talking like we're your responsibility. We're not. Yeah, I mean, they're kind of grown-ups now. <laughs> we could still use Pro Bronwyn on our side. So, really time you would get out of your slump there. How did you grow up so fast? I had good role models. Guys? She's not sending fighters. That's Neo, isn't it, then? Or not? Well, she said she wouldn't make an example of them, so that could be interesting. Two. Well, there's the boot. How did he even build something like that in the rock? Well, fun times when the thing goes down. But, hey, we finally get to see some of that uh, fancy Atlas military. Okay? <laughs> the eyes. But she's clearly lost her mind. And that was merely a warning shot. All Atlas 
personnel stand by and watch how your leader maintains order. Yes, sure. Uh, order. Don't you mean Atlas? But oh well. Hurry back, Weiss. I need you on the ground if we're gonna take this thing down. Yes! Do we don't know. What's the funding? Uh that seems to yep, not gone as planned. Well, in any case, it's a very fancy get-up. You have some serious obsession issues, in case that wasn't already clear. There's a good point there. <laughs> Uh, good thing you just, you know, knocked her in the head rather than using some lethal shots. Also, this is gonna be very interesting if Yang joins. Ouch! But. At least this gives us a chance to finally take him down for good. Just forget it all. Is that what you did to me? You just threw our memories away? Adam! I let you go once already, Blake. I'm never making that mistake again. I mean, I would argue like three times by now. Like the train, then Beacon, then Haven. So... Okay then. I'm sticking with it though, that one guard who didn't have black eyes for some reason might have just been Neo. It couldn't have been Cinder, but other than that, I had a baby scene was freaking hilarious. <laughs> That's still only the second pass to the freaking Atlas <laughs> speech uh, Jago thing. Let's see that real quick. Yeah, I mean only person to conveniently be in frame and shown and all that, so... It's gonna be Neo. <laughs> Let's be real about this. That was a short episode though, wasn't it? I mean, I'm not gonna complain given how long all the previous ones have been, but still. Uh, just curious detail there. Well, it was 14 minutes, but if you skip the... Uh, the ad at the beginning at the opening, then yeah. In any case, we are clearly setting up for a finale here. Isn't this like 14 episodes? I've forgotten how much. Uh, Ruby Volume Six. Does it say anywhere how much, how many episodes this one's going to have? Oh, not here. Maybe some Wikipedia. Uh, 13. So we have got the Lady in the Shoe next up, and then two more unnamed episodes. <clears throat> uh, Lady in the Shoe is probably going to be the Miss... I need her name. I need really need to learn her name. Uh, but yeah, and two after that. So if we assume that dealing with Adam and her is more or less going to be the same episode... That leaves us two more episodes to deal with potentially Cinder and Neo. So, and then be on our merry way to Atlas. <laughs> that sounds fun, but you know, at the same time, how are you gonna get into Atlas just because you steal a ship? You, ju you just had the very same problem, no? With Maria at the helm. And I guess this <laughs> episode was freaking amazing. We had <laughs> just amazing comedy. <laughs> and. Uh, we got 
I like that we got a glimpse of the great Atlas military might, finally. You know, that it's not all... Well, it's smoke and mirrors, that's what you see. I mean, it's kind of to be expected, but still, it's nice to finally see something for real. I have no idea how they uh, secretly built this giant rock thing so that it can just transform to make room uh, for this thing to come out. I, I totally understand just caving it out or something, but like... Oh well, I suppose the people didn't... Didn't pay too much attention, perhaps, maybe, sort of. Oh well. So yeah, we've got Black and Yang versus Adam, which again I see as the chance to finally get rid of him. I mean, not kill him or anything, but uh, Yang gets to face her demons the same way Blake did, in a way. Uh, and <laughs> since he's kind of been this glooming shadow Damocle sword hanging above them for a while now and I mean he killed the white fang or like not probably not all of it but a couple left over high ranked members or something so I suppose we're kind of done with that now for good I mean and for for good good once we're done with Adam so that finally calls the lid on that chapter as a whole and well if we manage to deal with Cinder and or Neo I still think that Neo is not really on Cinder's side, just going along with it, but I don't know if she is actually going to backstab Cinder at some point or not or whatever, or if she's going to use the chance to kill Ruby and Cinder or whatever, I really don't know. The only thing that I'm very curious about is if Cinder were to die, which might just really be overdue at this point, I'd say that... Ruby is clearly the focus of her thoughts right now. Like, pretty much every instance we have seen with her is all about uh, how very little she likes Ruby. So that would make it interesting. I generally don't think that a silver-eyed warrior could actually be a maiden. It feels just a bit too overpowered. Like, you know, Ruby has her eyes, so that's kind of her thing. If you add a maiden to that, I don't know. If Neo were to kill Cinder, that would make her a possible candidate. Don't know how to feel about that. I think it would be okay in general. But it depends on what's going to happen with Neo after that. Is she just going to leave? Is she going to stick with the group? Because having a maiden on their side would finally give them some actual fighting power. I mean, you know, they're all good, but still, they're just eight people. A drunk and an old lady. So, uh, not necessarily the best means to take on the queen of all evil. I mean, even if one of them has a uh, reclusive old wizard in his head. But yeah, generally that. Really, out of Ruby, like the, the, the team, the only one I can see ever becoming a maiden would be Yang, and that's because of Raven. I mean, as disconnected as Raven might be and like done with the whole family deal, I do believe that she cares about Yang in her own wicked way. Like, not in the usual way you imagine a loving mother, but she did offer Yang a place in her tribe. She seemed proud when they found her and whatever happened, whatever they did in the vault, so on and so forth. So, if Raven, although we're kind of done with her for now, ever were to die, then Yang receiving the powers would be a good candidate, I think. I really see no reason why Weiss or Blake would ever get the role unless we have some again big revelation regarding the summer winter maiden i mean we're going to atlas so the winter maiden could be there but yeah so much for theories any case that will have to be all for now so until next time see you then bye